feel like they brought you on just to like attack you on the show was the flagrant flagrant. Fla- flagrant. There you go. I uh, knew it. We knew it. Yeah. With Andrew Schultz. Yeah. 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 It, it, it wasn't Andrew. I never knew this podcast existed until today, but like it was everyone else. Like, I mean, do, well, do you, what do y'all do to like people well, who are just like, again, I, I'm, I'm probably disagree with a lot of what you guys, uh, not, not like, I don't want to say stand for. I disagree with a lot of like the way you perceive the world Okay, a little bit. Right. Um, but there are some people that are very like, no, no, wrong, wrong. I'm gonna attack you, and I feel like that's what like happened on like that podcast. Yeah. yeah. Um. You want to take it first, and I can. Yeah. I, I would just say that whole podcast itself was an attack on us because they saw our point of view and they felt like you know what, you guys are wrong, and we're gonna prove you wrong. Apologize on our show. Yeah. Well, you know how we rock. We're like, no, this is how we stand. This is our stance on it. Take it or leave it. So they want us to apologize on their show, basically. It's weird. Long story short, though, uh, Andrew was being impartial because he didn't want to be the bad guy. He put his, his team to be the bad guys, but once again. He felt the same way. Good cop, yeah. bad cop. Yeah, pretty much. So yeah, um, basically, bro, they were virtue signaling. Um, they, they were trying to because this was at a time when we were had just got, we were going viral because we made a joke saying that you know we don't dabble in the dark, right? About like not dating black girls or whatever, yeah. which is a joke. Yeah. Um, but they like we went viral for that, so they brought us on to like try to like virtue signal. Like, do you guys really think this way about women? Blah blah blah. And the thing is, is that Andrew and Akash, Andrew had just gotten married, and Akash like had one girl his entire life. So like they don't understand or know how the sexual marketplace is now, right? And they don't, and like, the thing is that when we give advice, we give this advice to men so they understand how women operate in general so that they can have the knowledge and, you know, adapt and move accordingly. But for them, right, they're challenging our points and saying that's wrong, blah, 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 that's immature, but they weren't actually able to refute any of our points, right? And it's funny because one of the guys that's on a staff that wasn't married, we we're talking about dating apps and how they're skewed in a woman's favor. He was like, yeah, actually they're right, bro. And it's true. Like this number show this women swipe right only about 5% of the time on men. So the thing is, is that there was, you know, trying to virtue signal, whatever. And I think it was very unprofessional what they did, because if we brought them on the podcast, we would never do that. We never do that to our guests. Yeah. Um, but they actually made themselves look very stupid doing that. And it's funny because um, people keep sending me clips of like um, Schultz agreeing with a lot of the points that we make that he tried to argue against when we were on the show. Cause he sits there and agrees with Andrew Tate, right? But we pretty much agree with like 99% of things that Andrew says too. We've had Andrew on the show like 10 plus times. Yeah. You know, he's a good friend of ours. Shout out to him. He's home now. But, uh, but it's funny how like when we come on, they disagree with us because it was a cool thing to do. Let's virtue signal and look like we're cool at this point, which they ended up making themselves look stupid. And they cut out a significant part of the podcast where I made one of their people that was trying to challenge me that clown Alex in the back. They cut that part out because I made them look stupid. So mm. they edited the podcast as well. So... Um, they, in one side, they disagree. And then the other side, you know, they come in and they agree with a lot of our points when Andrew Tate says it, because that's the cool thing to do. So they, they flip flop, man. I, I think with, with, when you go on shows like that, where they, where they're trying to like hardcore prove their point, like e- even, even you guys, like something that I've taken from this is, yeah, you have very strong, uh, opinions on a lot of things. Mm-hmm. And clearly I maybe again, disagree with some stuff, but not once, even with your crazy strong opinions where you're like, Max, since you disagree, you're wrong. Like you are dumb. Like you, like you shouldn't do this. It was just like, okay, I, I understand. Like, you know, you're it's you, your I'm me. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And I think that's what, what I got from that podcast is that people were so opinionated that they like wouldn't allow someone else to have a different opinion. Even like, it was almost like no one can disagree. You have to, you like, you have to agree with us. Or if, you know, I never got that from like you guys. Yeah, no, and they had an agenda too. Like I said, they were there to virtue signal. And the funny part is like they were trying to criticize us for like making a joke on 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 black women, but like Akash had done the same exact thing. He had done the same exact thing and made fun of black women, but he's gonna go in and attack us about that. So it was just it, it was very and if you go back and look at that video, like everyone was like kind of roasting them, like, bro, y'all, you know, virtue signaling, blah, blah, blah. And they're supposed to be flagrant. So like what <laughs> y'all can make jokes and we make a joke, it's a problem, like it doesn't make sense. So it is what it is, man. Like, this is what I mean when I say a lot of times, like, these dudes in mainstream media are fucking pussies. Like, they just say whatever's correct to, you know, to not lose fans. Yeah. Like, us, the difference between us, and I think this is why so many people love us, is number one, we say what it really is when it comes to dating in the modern day world. And we're not afraid to say what it is. And we're not going to bend or fold to these fucking politically correct pieces of shit. We don't give a fuck what they think. Yeah, and I I think I mentioned the big, I'm, I think I said- They got the comedy big, specials to sell. So they have to have a certain type of, well, you know what I mean? I, I mean, I, I think I mentioned this in the beginning- 
or, or did I say it off topic? How he's saying if you know if you have a, a split audience, if you're in the middle where you're like, I'm not, I don't want to have an extreme take one way or the other. You're never going to have a, a full army of people on either side. But exactly. if you go to one side, you will have that army yeah. behind your yeah. back. You see it in the political world, which I'm, I don't even get into politics. And I think a lot of people throughout watching me and even maybe on this podcast, whether it be from my audience or your audience that comes and checks it out, they'll probably think that I don't have crazy hard takes on or like wh what I stand for. And that's just kind of how I've been my whole life of like, I'm not an extreme thinker, opinionated person. I'm more just, okay, okay. Like I, I see, both, see both, both sides. see points of views. Yeah. yeah, which is which is great, you know. Um, just for us, it's like we're you know we're we're basically we have our views and we're ten toes down and we genuinely. My thing is like I genuinely do think that this is the best way that men have to move in the modern day dating place. And I I always cite my sources. I always I talk about it in detail in the book with you know the studies and everything. And like given the current sexual marketplace that we're in today in today's day and age, where we have a fifty percent divorce rate, women initiate eighty percent of the divorces. If a woman's college educated, it rises up to almost damn near ninety percent. Um, we, we know that women are actually aroused and attracted to these things scientifically. And we live in a what I call the deregulated sexual marketplace with the amplifier of the internet and social media and it's dating apps, et cetera. The sex world. Like we have we have all these things going on. The reason why I say the things that I do is because this is the most practical and best advice for a majority of men in today's globalized sexual marketplace to move. What is going on guys? I am Max Tuning, your host. I hope you enjoyed this little clip. If you want to see the full, magical, lovely episode, just click the link down in the description or search Don't Be Sour on your favorite podcast streaming service. And remember, thank you for tuning in.